Hey, look around this campus that we're walking on right now. You've been back here three years. It's changed a lot in that amount of time. How exciting is it being here with the growth, the excitement around not just your program, but the school in general? Yeah, I love it. I can't believe how much this place has changed. The tower, the library is, is expanded, the music building, it's unreal. And I think it's that commitment to excellence that uh, we feel so privileged to be a part of. I just hope our basketball program can continue to elevate itself in order to, to mesh into the fabric of uh, what our intention is at this university. It's a special place. We've had some time to kind of think back, evaluate this past season, let it marinate a little bit. Looking You're going to bring up the Radford game, aren't you? I, we'll get there. Okay. We'll, we'll, let, let me ease into that one. <laughs> what would you say is the biggest success, though, looking back on the season, and then at the same time, the biggest maybe area that you feel like, ah, we didn't do what I expected? Yeah, I, look, all the stuff that's evaluated in terms of our record, our, our all-conference participants, uh, the way we recruited, all of that is, is something that you – professionals can evaluate. Sure. But what most people don't see is the incredible growth that's happened or occurred in our program. We, we've changed the culture from a standpoint of, I think, where it was a little bit focused on me yeah. to now it's we. And I love that. I love the fact that our guys feel like it's a privilege to be a part of our program and a part of this university and that we're trying to we aspire to be a part of something bigger than ourselves. Now, I saw somewhere you guys finished the season ranked ninth of the nation in scoring defense. Now, actually, interestingly enough, two of the top three teams directly ahead of you, Michigan, Loyola. Yeah. They went to the Final Four. Yeah. So that's a good sign. Has it surprised you at all how quickly that has become your program's identity, defense? Uh, I don't know about surprise, just because it's been an intention of ours, obviously having a chance to serve under Coach Bennett, yeah. who's the best in the nation. As per the course at UVA, we got better and better yeah. each year, and uh, I think we improved in that area uh, in our third year as well. Now our offense needs to get better, and I don't know who the offensive coach is. <laughs> but, uh, but I do think yeah. we're trending in the right direction, and uh, I like our guys' buy-in and commitment to the defensive end. All right, so we need to talk about it. Radford game, Big South Championship. Obviously, a kick to the gut to everybody involved. For you, personally, the aftermath of a game like that, how much, as a coach, do you relive it? Do you play it back? Do you analyze, reanalyze? Or can you just turn the page and look forward? Because you guys, your season wasn't done. Yeah, hang on, man. I'm getting a phone call. Are you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I can be right there. Yeah, okay, yeah, Thank yeah. You. Oh, you're Matt. bailing on me. Yeah. You didn't want that one. Yeah, I mean, do you have to bring that up? Hey, it's part of the look, story. Look, Carleek Jones made a great shot. Absolutely. And, uh, and I think defensively, we did as much as we could have done to give our, chance a team, or give our team a chance to win. Yeah. However, it wasn't good enough on that particular night. But uh, no dramatic changes needed. We had a chance, and uh, the fact that uh, we lost it in the last minute, sure it stings, and we'll always remember that. But the path to get there, now listen, it was no small thing. Yeah. We had to beat Campbell, who had drilled us Absolutely. twice. Then we had to win at Asheville for the second time in, I don't know, two weeks, yeah. which hadn't been done. And then had to go on the road and beat Radford. So if we had earned the bid, we certainly would have deserved it, but I'm proud of our guys for getting there. Although, obviously, I would have liked the, the outcome or the ending to have been different. Coach, I feel like I owe you one for all of the post-game interviews I made you sit through throughout the season. So can I get you a drink or something just to kind of balance the, the sheet a little bit? Will you know, that even it out? I, I would love that. No, it wouldn't even okay. it out. But I would love a protein water. Really? I um, think they serve just that here. Can you get my man Isabel, a protein man? water? Yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Would you like anything? I will, do you have a smoothie? Yeah, for sure. I have got some smoothies. I would, that would be fantastic. I appreciate it. A smoothie? A smoothie. Oh, my Listen, I'm not trying. I'm trying to... Pack on the pounds here. I'm not cutting weight. You know? <clears throat> yeah, were well, you no. trying to say something? No, I'm not saying anything I mean, at all. I'm not saying anything. Yeah, this will be our last interview, but go ahead. Do you well, have any other questions? Get, yeah, <laughs> let me get them in before you leave <laughs> yeah. me here. Back-to-back 20-win -back seasons for you now. The expectation level for this program, people forget how far it has come in a short amount of time. Oh, Is thanks. there a mindset that has to change with the expectations continually rising? No, I think, obviously, you want to keep growing your program, and expectations are a great thing if you embrace them. Sure. I think when you cower to them or uh, they become your identity, I think that's when you become afraid and, and you, you get the, the wrong pursuit of the, the wrong agenda. So I, I hope our guys aren't focused on uh, the number. Yeah. I hope we're just about getting better every day. I'm telling you, you're missing out on the cheesecake yeah, thing. Thanks. This thing's that's pretty great, good here. Uh, 
last thing for you. You have kind of almost a veteran team this year. Yeah, can you believe well, how, that? Is that weird? I mean, you're always young. Yeah. And in the past, there have been questions. Yeah. Who's this Scotty James guy? Yeah. What do we want to do without John Dawson? Will Caleb Holmesley bounce back yeah. from injury? I feel like, cross your fingers, ways to go before the season, but yeah. you don't have the number of questions you've had in the past. You know what's funny about that? Because Coach Bennett and Mike Bray, some of the, the greats, the veterans that have been around and follow closely, they always talk about getting old. Mm -hmm. And we are finally old. We made some recruiting decisions based on the returners that we had yeah. that we thought, ah, it might might disrupt our chemistry because we know because of the, the history that these guys have enough playing experience to, to warrant the minutes that we think they're gonna get. Yeah. So I, I love that our language is, is the community of, of conversation and communication in our program is it's kind of the best that it's been. So hopefully that'll pay its dividends and, uh, and we'll be doing another interview next, next Fall. I'm going to hold you to that. Spring. Okay. Yeah. Right. I'll hold you to that yeah. one as well. Yeah. Coach, I'm going to let you get back to work. I think I've taken enough of your time. You can got I your steps it? in. Take, you can take no. the whole thing if you want. Yeah. <laughs> Appreciate Matt, it, Matt, always Coach. a pleasure.